This vision I'm about to share was something that God gave me from him telling me to, to watch the food, to watch the food. So this is the vision God gave me. And please say this to the Lord. He said to me, uh, this was yesterday. So I wrote in my notes. I said, so since yesterday, the Lord put news on my heart. He kept putting news on my heart. Um, when he does this, sometimes he has news for me specifically. And sometimes I'm about to engage in something coming out in the media. Um, this is just a part of a relationship with me. He just lets me know. And so he did the same thing yesterday, but this was news coming out in the media, but he also showed me something before the media is about to come out about it. Okay. So the Lord showed me, he put news on my heart. And as he kept doing this, I kept seeking him. It was Saturday throughout the day. I was seeking him by the Lord. What are you saying? What is it? I know this is you. And what, what more can you share with me? Right. He ended up telling me Saturday morning, he said, watch the food supply. And when he said that, watch the food supply, I understood what he meant. He said, watch the food supply as in movement of it in the stores being supplied or not. As movement of food in the stores being supplied or not. That's what he was emphasizing. Watch the food supply. And so that morning I said, okay, all right. Thank you for sharing that Lord. I'm gonna lock that in and keep going. And um, if there's anything else you need me to know? Okay. So later that day, I felt the Lord that he wanted to talk to me about this food supply revelation he gave me. I felt the Lord wanted to share something with me. And so later that day, I got my space with him and as I started talking to him about it, like asking him, what did he want me to know? You know, seeking him. I saw a vision of a train. I see a vision of a train and this train is long. This train is very long. In the vision, I'm looking at a side view of this train very far away so I can see the environment. I can see the railroad track. I can see the actual train it's on. And this train is extremely long. This train goes very, very long out of my field of vision in this vision. And this train is in a very desert space, somewhere on the West Coast, I believe. Um, and I knew that this train was going to one city or town. And this train had to go through the desert to get there. And it was, it wasn't halfway there, but it was maybe three fourths of the way to getting to this city to provide the food that was on the train, right? And that once again, this train had tons of food, tons of food, more than enough. As I'm watching this train move, it stops in the middle of the desert. And I see that my field of vision is so wide, I can see there is literally nothing, nothing here. I see nothing but desert canyon built, canyon mountainous, um landmark areas and it's completely desert it's nothing is there and as that train stops i'm watching it in the vision and i'm like wow this train is not going anywhere i don't know how the train stops but i know the train isn't moving on its own accord it can't keep going something happened to this train where it could not keep moving it wasn't revealed to me that the train was shut off, sabotaged or anything. Only thing I know is that this train of food stopped in the desert. And as it stayed there, it remained there for a long time. As I was watching this vision, the train didn't do anything. It was stalled out. It was unable to keep going. What I understand is, is that there's this time frame of it stopping. It, it remained in this space for a longer duration than I, than I thought it was going to. I thought in this vision as I'm watching, it's going to stop and then it's gonna keep going eventually. 
This train stalled out for a very long time. It seemed like in a vision, time passed of a greater portion, um, more than the time frame I'm in, that we're in. It seemed like I was fast forwarding in this vision, how much time really passed. And it was a lot more time than expected for this city to get food. Okay. I said, I said, I was watching this train as I knew it had food on it. I said, as it stalled out for a long time, the train out of nowhere, after a duration, just starts moving. No man gets out. Nothing seemed to be the catalyst to it starting again. But I know it started moving out of nowhere. And one thing, as I saw it start moving, God instantly showed me, I, the Lord, caused this train to move again. God was showing me, I, the Lord, caused this train to move again. And I saw the train begin to move slowly and it picked up speed. And it was going into the city that it was supposed to go into with food and supply. God was revealing to me that this is true of what is to come to pass. There's going to be a halt in food. There's going to be a halt in food. And as this halt comes to pass, this is going to strip a lot of people of their pride, of their heart, to now seek Christ. And this duration will be for a little small time. And as this shifts, God is going to have this train to move again, to bring supply to people. And it's going to be by Christ. Somehow, some way, I don't know how God's going to do it. He didn't show me, but he's going to get this train moving again by himself. The cool thing was in this vision, he emphasized, I will get this thing moving. As if he didn't cause it to stop. But in the same sense, he allowed it to stop for the stripping of people's hearts. Because people seem not to not to care for God as long as they know their supply for their life is met. And so, um, of course, not talking about you guys, but as a general population, people are going to have a depravity of this. But there won't be lack. There won't be depravity. In this time of no food, guaranteed there will be miracles. Once again, this is a stripping of hearts God is doing. So if God is about to strip hearts, that means he's about to reveal his heart to be stripped to it. God isn't a stripping of your heart to leave you idle in a, in a stripped space. No, we all know when God strips us down, he's building us right back up. As soon as he strips us down, we're already being built up already. We all know that from our experiences. We all know that from how we've walked with Christ. And so we, so that's going to be the same thing. And so at the end of this vision, when I saw this train going into the city and town it needed to, God simply said to me, I will be their supply. And that's all he said. All right. Then one thing yesterday, another impression God put on my heart impression he put in my heart he put this on my heart blackouts he put blackouts on my heart and i know i've spoken about it i know many of you guys are probably engaged it already i know the lord told me prior to the beginning of the summer that blackouts were going to happen this summer and i've experienced them <laughs> i know some of you guys have experienced them so um even so, he wanted to emphasize some other things for me. Um, this is something different that I did not expect the Lord to say. So please take this to the Lord. Please take this to the Lord. Please take this to the Lord. I'm about to share. So once again, God put blackouts. He kept impressing on my heart, like, seek me about this. I want to share something with you. So I was like, all right, Lord, sounds good. Let's do it. So I got in some space with him. I got in my time. And um, 
he he was showing me puzzle pieces of this. So I was talking to the Lord. I was like, hmm, Black House Lord. Okay, <laughs> what does he want me to know? And he said to me, and this is the interesting thing. I don't know if this is physical, spiritual, symbolic, or all three at once. Okay, I don't know. I believe it's a mixture. I don't have full interpretation of this. So please see the Lord on this. Honest, guys, please see the Lord on this. He showed me blackouts, right? And then he said this. Blackouts is darkness comes to the wicked. I was like, really? He said, darkness comes to the wicked. He said to me, my hand will be against them. And the Lord was showing me when he said that I was like, okay, Lord, I can't tell if this is physical, spiritual, or, or a mental or a whatever layer he's talking or all three. So I just kept going along with what he was showing. And I was seeking the Lord on this and I was like, what do you mean the wicked? And he said to me, reap what they sow. Okay. He showed me that his hand is against them. And he showed me that the blackouts they will have are blackouts pressed on to them. And when he, he emphasized that these are blackouts that will be pressed onto them, it's because they're already blacked out. They have chosen not the light. They have chosen not the source of Christ. They have not chosen him, right? Who is once again, the source who is Christ. He was showing me that the blackouts are going to be pressed onto the wicked. And I was like, okay, all right, Lord. And then he said to me, they, the wicked will not stand. They will fall from their lofty heights. And then I saw this politician, this politician woman, honestly, um, it looked like Nancy Pelosi, uh, I, that lady. It looked like her. It looked like she was standing on a high, high, high wooden platform. But the platform had some, what did I say? It had some very, very um, insignificant uh, pillars to hold up her platform. They were, they were like almost made out of wood, toothpicks. They were very flimsy material to help her stay lofted up. All right. And I saw as she was standing on this, she was teetering. It was like her platform was teetering over and not fully stable because of the stilts, the, the pillars, the foundation beneath was not properly established for her to stand and remain there. It wasn't um, resilient, stable. Right. Pretty much it was bad support holding her up. That's exactly what I was seeing. And the Lord was showing me once again, this blackout is for the wicked. He said, these are choosing to operate out of my will. He said, void of light. He said, many walk in blackout now. He said, the void of light of Christ, light will be lighter to light lights. And I said, okay. And I, and as he had me write that, I understood exactly what he meant. So the void of the light of Christ, we know what that is, right? And then he said, light will be lighter. Light will be lighter to light lights. And this is a two, this is a triple meaning and I'm gonna get into it. So light will be lighter. Those who are in light will grow lighter. But then light will be a lighter, like you're lighting a lighter to light someone who needs to be lit. Light will be lighter to light lights, a lighter. So God was showing me that those who are already in the light will be brighter, but then they're going to be an ignition for those who aren't in the light yet. And God was showing me the real blackout, the blackouts are for the wicked. That even though you may not have physical power, you're not blacked out. You're not blacked out. You have 
Holy Spirit. You have Christ, you have the Father, and then God sends his angels to accompany and assist you and minister to you for you to operate in the will of God and his perfect purpose for you. All right.